Okay, so what we're looking at just now is inside my Amazon S3 account with the buckets listed on the left side. Uh, the one we're going to look at is the content.bulletproofbackupmethod.com um, I'm not going to go into detail about what it is, um, but basically as you can see I've got folders here, uh, a couple of PDF documents and um, inside these folders we have various videos. Um, <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do first is show you the wrong way to set your bucket up. And when I say the wrong way, it means that the entire world is going to be able to grab at your stuff, which is not good at all. So, this is the way that I've seen the permissions set up before. There may be a slight variation to the tick boxes for the everyone group, um, but I've I've seen that this is generally what is taught to let... Uh, everyone get at your material, whether it's behind a membership site or whether you just want to give them access to uh, their content that they've purchased. So what's the problem with having everyone set like this? Well, the easiest way to explain it is if I go over here, now you'll see that this bucket is called content.bulletproofbackupmethod.com. If I paste that into Internet Explorer or whatever browser you use, you'll see all this content which is in a format called XML and initially it looks pretty harmless but if you dig a bit deeper you'll see that each of these lines that are surrounded by key for this one for example so it's HD forward slash 10 bonus restore video if I go back to S3 and go into the HD folder it's actually giving access to this video here just to show you obviously how bad that could be if I choose a PDF file so we've got a PDF file here so if we copy that and put it at the back of the URL <sighs> straight into one of my files oh god so the black hatters are going to have a field day so how do we stop that actually being possible well we need to go into the S3 management console ensure that you've got the top level bucket highlighted and anything apart from your grantee get rid of it right now and save that's it that is the only line that should be on the top level for the bucket is your Amazon S3 account nothing else so once you've done that go back to the page and refresh and you'll now see that there's nothing getting listed at all. Now what do you do when it comes to the subfolders? So we've got HD here, so if I go up here and click uh, HD, you'll see that nothing's being listed because the subdirectories, i.e. this one, this one and these two, don't have the list permissions set for anyone apart from the owner so it's not publicly accessible that is pretty much the main thing that you can do for your S3 buckets is just get rid of anything in the permissions tab that isn't your Amazon S3 account so quick tip but it could save you an absolute fortune in bandwidth fees black hatters getting access to your information um, I know that there's some tools out there that are actually uh, able to scrape the S3 content as well. So that's it. Again, just anything on the bucket permissions list apart from yours, get rid of it. And that's job done. Okay, thanks for watching.